Okay, I woke up this morning with a really bad cold and I feel like crap. Ugh. Hi guys and welcome to a brand new episode of The Rift Effect. Apologies in advance, I feel like absolute rubbish right now, tears streaming down my face, sinuses are all blocked and everything, so apologies if you struggle to even understand me. Last night as I was going to bed, Wednesday night, just as I was going to bed, I had a last look at my phone and it went mental again. As is always happening when everything from the Batman gets released. And we now have set footages off passing with the Batmobile and it's got the internet talking yet again internet's going mental and yeah I can understand why more and more we're seeing that this is a development story of Batman in his early days and there is more and more evidence and no more evidence than what we're seeing in the Batmobile we see a uh, basic, what I can only describe as a muscle car developed with a massive engine on the back which looks like it's got an afterburner of some sort into, that is developing into the Batmobile which, as I say, which I've said in my previous videos this is great if this is a development thing and to be honest, first thoughts straight away I had Mad Max in my head I had Fast and Furious, it looks like one of They've just taken a car off the Fast and Furious set in one of the movies. But I liked it. That's the biggest thing. I do like it. I do think it's a great look at how we're going to see the development of the Batman in his early days. So I, I do like this. Um, we see some great shots of the front and of the hood with the lights. Very Dodge Charger sort of sprung into my head. Whether that's the type of car they've used in the bodywork or not, I don't know. Uh, I'm not 100% on the cars guys, so apologies for that. But it looks like a sort of Dodge Charger type thing, very big wheels. And the more I've looked at the pictures, and the more I've looked at the shape of the actual body of the car, it took me back to some of the comic books in the 1970s, where they were basing the Batmobile off of cars of that time. There was a Batmobile that was a Ford Mustang, and things like that. That, I've, I'll, I'll be putting some images in here, to show you what I'm on about and I think that, that is the style they're going for which I think is great it's, it's another homage I think there's going to be so many easter eggs and so many little homages to the comic books in this movie that it's great for us nerds absolutely brilliant because we can pick up on these things so moving on to the other two images we see a beautiful side panel shot with the tail brake lights lit up on the massive rear wheel arches and again this is looks more like a drag racer than anything else with a hunking great engine put on it and I actually like it it really looks like something that somebody would develop if they were going to go out and be Batman and they were in the early stages of development and then we get another beautiful picture of the engine now I recently watched first thing this morning I watched Cosplay Chris's video on this and he puts it him um, he puts it perfectly looks like a bat out of hell and could scream like a bat out of hell and that is perfect for this look of engine it is going to roar and we will be really disappointed in the cinema especially in something like an IMAX if you do not hear that roar and feel that engine revving because it just looks mean and menacing practicality wise if you were Batman you wouldn't do that basically because your engine is exposed to gunfire explosions etc 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 and with the amount of fuel that's probably in that thing you ain't gonna there's gonna be bits of you everywhere but I do, I am excited for this. This is making me a bit more excited. There is again a lot of controversy. It is a bit of Marmite in the fandom where we love it or we hate it. I'm loving it because I think I can see where they're going. This is all about developing the Batman in his early days, which is a movie take we've not really had properly done before. We've had Michael Keaton's Batman who was pretty much already there with his gear and everything the other films we won't really discuss. You then have The Dark Knight where we see him develop, but again, he instantly sort of develops a kit 
but not to this extent where it is literally going back to not having Lucius Fox, not having anyone other than Alfred help him out and they're tinkering in a garage basically or bat cave. So I, I'm, I'm digging this. Um, the only other thing that gripe I've got about these photos is Robert Patterson in that bat suit. Like I said before, I still like the suit. I can see where they're going with the suit, but Patterson looks small. Um, and again, I understand why. Again, he's in development. Hopefully, if they do a series of movies with him, he'll bulk up a bit as he gets more and more into the role. But he just looks like, well, a skinnier version of me. Uh, no muscle, no definition, no nothing. And if you're fighting crime, you've got to have a fighter's body. Um, and I blatantly don't. And Unfortunately, looking at these photos, neither is Patterson. He's not big and imposing, and that's worrying me a little bit. Is is he going to come across as the scary figure that he's meant to be as Batman? That worries me. Whether he'll do Bruce Wayne, young Bruce Wayne, yeah, probably. Um, seen him in other films, other than Twilight. Seen him in other films where, yeah, he. I've got, I think I'm feeling good for Bruce Wayne. Whether he can pull off Batman and be that menacing figure, at the moment. From his stature alone, I'm a little bit concerned. So this was just a quick video, guys. As I say, I am now going to go and curl up in bed and slowly die from this cold because I am completely choked up. Um, and apologies for the sniffing, etc., etc. Please, guys, stick comments below. Get on the discussion. I love having discussion with fans, fellow fans. Like it, hate it, whatever. I love having discussions. All right, guys, so please stick comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. The more thumbs up I get, the more it helps. So, yeah, guys, and with that, geek out. <coughs> oh, God. Right. And as I say, Avengers this one just. <sighs> Why does the Avengers group chat come on whenever I'm trying to do these videos? Definitely not, and that's my phone again.